Hey guys, it is Courtney and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another clothing haul. I know I've been doing a lot of these recently, but you guys say you love them, so I'm keep doing them. I guess we can say this is a spring clothing haul because it is spring and I'm at that point right now where I do have a lot of clothes, but I'm sick of wearing all of them. Actually, I will be getting rid of a lot of clothes because I'm moving soon. This video is actually partnered with The Moods. They are sponsoring this video. I mean this deep down in the bottom of my heart. I've never partnered with a company that I'm not sure about or if I don't like them. I'm always gonna give an honest review so you can't expect that with this video when they reached out to me I had no idea who they were only a couple youtubers have done videos about them I think if I could describe the moods in one word it would be aesthetic all of the clothes are so freaking cute so we're gonna see if it's a hit or miss or not I really hope you guys are excited for this aesthetic spring haul all of the clothes are in this box but before we get started don't forget to subscribe give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to follow me on Instagram that's cool too everything that I'm showing you today is also linked down below so you can check that out too Let's get started. Like most of my hauls, this is gonna be a first impression. So I haven't opened anything yet. The only thing that I peeked on was the top one because I knew it was the bag that I picked out. The first thing I got is a canvas bag, which I actually don't own one. On the front it says, Goth? I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, but it has a rose on it and I thought it was cute. Also, this was $14 and it's actually a pretty decent size, so I'm actually pretty pleased with it. Oh, and it also has a little pocket inside, which is kind of helpful. It is a little thinner than what I expected with a canvas bag, but you can tell it's very sturdy. Like I can't even stretch it. So it's feels well made. It feels like nice quality. So this next thing I believe is a long sleeve. Okay. Yeah. Here's the next thing. Oh my gosh, wow. So I got this one in a size medium, like always. I usually get my things in a size medium. Um, I did find that with this website, they do have most of the sizings to pick from, so it's not like a one size thing. So this is only $22 and it looks exactly like the picture. This straight up feels like something from Brandy Melville. Okay, we're gonna try something new today. I put you on a tripod instead of me holding the camera. Um, I got a purse to show, give you guys the whole outfit vibe, but basically I really like this top. And then we have the back. It's a very flattering fit. The only negative, about this is unfortunately it is a little small for being a size medium I don't know if it's just my shoulder length or my chest size but it is definitely tight around the armpits it's still bearable so I can see myself wearing this still also in my last video you guys wanted to know where these jeans were from they're actually vintage Levi's so you can't really get them anywhere I think I'll give this shirt a 8 out of 10 just because it's not the most comfortable fit but I still do really like this I just started filming and I'm already sweating so bad Guys, I am so excited for this haul. <laughs> Moving on to the next thing. This is adorable. I love this color. This is exactly like the picture too. This top was only $24 and this one is also in a size medium. It's basically the same cotton feel as the last top. Lately, I've been obsessing over animal print. Like, I'm freaking wearing pandas on my shirt right now. And I believe this is something they sell on Unif. So this is like a Unif dupe, but it's only $24. It doesn't feel like it would be $24. It feels like it would be way more. We'll see when I try it on. I'm really excited. Next we have... Can Hello, stop it. Next we have this top and it is really cute. Like I said, I love the color. I love the cheetah print, but for being a size medium, I think this runs a little bit small. If I knew this before picking it out, I definitely would have sized up for this top. Also just realized that this top reminds me of an e-girl. Definitely not an e-girl. The next thing is a tank top. So here is a close-up of this top. This one was only $20 and I got a size medium. They only have a smaller medium in this top. But for being a medium, that still seems kind of small. I got the sage green color. They actually have like five other colors to choose from. It looks pretty well made as well. I love the front of this top. Let's try that on. Here is this top. I really do like this. The only problem is I'm finding that it's going to be hard to wear a bra with it for sure. I also tried it with a strapless bra and it still showed. So you either have to pull it up, but then it just looks awkward down here. I would say if you're bigger, like up here, probably size up or just go braless, which is also perfectly fine. I'm going to still rate this like a seven out of 10, just because it's not the perfect fit for my body type. You guys know I'm obsessed with peasant style tops and pirate tops. I'm just into all that. So I got this tank top and oh my gosh, I love this. So this tank top was $20 and I got this in a size medium and they had two colors, black or white. And I chose black because you know me, I always wear black. Kind of funny, I have a twin sister if you don't know and people think that I'm the evil twin and she's the nice twin because I always wear black. I even drive a black beetle. Just from looking at this, I know I'm gonna love this. Maybe I'll just title this video like Brandy Melville dupes because this feels like something you would find at Brandy Melville. 
Ooh, I love this. This tie thing right here is kind of bothering me. Okay, actually, I'm just gonna tuck it in my shirt. I really like this. It's pretty stretchy, so if you are like a little bit bigger than me, I think this would also be fine. Oh my gosh, actually, I feel like this would look good over a, a shirt. Like, you know those, that style? I don't really wear it. Actually, I'm gonna try it. Let's see how this looks. I like this. This is actually cute. put together this outfit let's see honestly kind of digging this i think i'm gonna rate this a 10 out of 10 just because it's really cute and you can style it a couple ways like this or you can wear it without the t-shirt underneath it at the end of the day though it's still a tank top so it's up to you to spend that kind of money on just a tank top i just had a childhood flashback of miley cyrus if you guys know that video where she was like joking about the tank top let me know down below so this next thing i am super excited about oh my gosh this is so cute i need to stop saying cute What's another word for cute though? I got this sort of fuzzy knitted crop top and this was $29. So this is the most expensive thing I have so far. And they had two colors, but I got the pink and orange one. I just absolutely love these two colors together. And it's also, again, stretchy. Everything on their website has zero reviews. I was very unsure which sizing to get. So I'm pretty happy so far that I'm picking a size medium. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna start off with the positives. I think this is adorable. It definitely is giving me those 90s vibes like from Clueless. Definitely like share vibes. The pink and orange together is a really nice combo. But the negatives is it is a little itchy, but not too bad, I've had worse. And it's a little bit too cropped. If I lift up my arms, I would have to be careful. And the most annoying thing, I can't really wear tops like this because it does this. It's so freaking annoying. Hopefully the other tops that I'm gonna show in this video don't do this. I think I'll rate this one a seven out of 10. The next thing I brought is gonna be a skirt and I never thought I would be one of these girls to own a plaid skirt because I still to this day have never bought a plaid skirt. So here's the one I picked out. It is a green plaid skirt and this is called the Gerald skirt on their website. And here it is. This was $22 and I got a size medium. It looks a little see-through so I'm kind of scared about that. I'm also a little bummed that this skirt doesn't have shorts underneath it. I just feel like all skirts should have shorts underneath them. Like, I know some people don't want shorts underneath their skirts for a reason. The quality, honestly not the best, but then again, it's only $22. We'll see what I end up pairing it with, but I think these are probably gonna look really good together. This is really weird for me because I never wear skirts. This is what it looks like. I would be okay with spending $15 on this, but it's $22, which I know is not a big difference, but I just don't think the quality lines up with the price. I actually look like a Brandy Melville model, which I don't really like that. If you're looking for Brandy Melville dupes, I will say that this is really accurate to all their clothes and it's cheaper also, so that's even better. I think I'll rate this one five out of 10. It's not something that I really saw myself wearing. Okay, so this next thing I got is a dress. Um, I don't even know how to feel about it. And here it is. It's one of those dresses that are just like girly. It definitely is not the same quality as it shows in the pictures. The picture shows it to be more silky. I mean, this is still silky, but it's not really the same it looks like. For being $32 and this is what it looks like. I'm a little bit iffy about this right now. It also ties up in the back like a lace up thing, which I think that's cute. I do like the color. I'm a big fan of pastel purple. Hopefully this turns out good because I really do like the picture. I really don't like this dress, so I'm gonna hurry this part up. I did want to like this. I'm kind Kind of mad it doesn't look good on me uh it's just not flattering and the top is just very awkward on me and it's a very thin material so it is a little bit see-through maybe i'll just end up wearing this to bed or something i don't know i do like the color that's probably the only thing i like about this i'm definitely rating this like a three out of ten. Oh my gosh <laughs> Wow, okay, so here's this dress. My first thought was like alien dress. So this one is the most expensive one yet. This dress here is $40. And I got this one in a size medium. The reason why I got this is because I thought the mesh sleeves were super cool. But honestly, I'm gonna say it, it looks different from the picture. I mean, I'm not gonna lie when I say these pictures on our website are probably from other websites, but they're still giving you the same design. Overall, I thought the design of this dress was really cute and unique. So I'm not gonna say anything more until I actually try it on. I look like a tree log for being the most expensive thing in this haul. I don't think this is worth the price. I hate to say that, but it's also a little bit different from the picture. Like, I don't know, I feel like it's not as flattering. Maybe it's just because it's not as flattering on me than in the model. I guess the only word I can describe this is funky. Like, it's a very funky dress. This is the back. 
I just don't think it hugs my body the right way, but it is cute. I just don't know if I like the price for it, $40 for this. I'm still definitely gonna wear this. I got a pair of gold earrings and on their website, you guys will find that their prices aren't expensive, but they're also not inexpensive. It's like right in between. As far as their jewelry goes, it is obviously on the pricey side. So these earrings, they were $34, which is pretty expensive, but they are saying that this is 18 karat gold plated. So they gave me two extra backings in case I lose them. So that's pretty good. So here are these hoop earrings and on their website, they're actually called lava earrings because it has that like lava effect, which I thought was really cool. I'm that person that likes to invest in good jewelry that will last me. As long as you're taking good care of your jewelry, it's gonna last. So obviously don't take a shower with it on, don't go swimming with them on. And if you also keep your jewelry safe, like in a cloth bag, your jewelry will last. So next I got a little cardigan. I've been seeing this style so often, but I actually don't own anything like it. You can tell when something's good quality when it's heavy. I'm really excited to style this top. So I got this in a size medium and this one was $26 so you know not too pricey as far as the material of this it's super soft and thick which I really like you can tell that this is really well made it's also stretchy which is nice they have a lot of colors to choose from but I got the color coffee I was scared that this wouldn't work out but this is really cute I love the brown color I have a cheetah print bucket hat that would look so cute with this all the clothes that I've tried on so far I think I've come to the conclusion that they run a little bit small which is unfortunate because for people like me even I can almost barely fit into this. Honestly, it makes me jealous for people that are flat chested. For me, I still would wear this, so I'm probably gonna rate this one a nine out of 10 because the quality is outstanding. Looks like I also got another knitted long sleeve shirt. This one was also $26 and I got it in a size medium. It basically feels exactly like the last top. This one looks more like a cardigan. Oh no, this preppy style is very in right now. I'm not mad about it, but I feel like I can't pull off these tops. I guess if they had a larger size, I would say size up, but I do like this. Again, the quality is just crazy good so it makes it worth it you can even unbutton this and then wear like a cute top underneath this it doesn't have to be buttoned up only because of the button issue i'm gonna rate this one a 7 out of 10. so i got another purple top and this is again a long sleeve oh this is really cute i've also seen this top so many times everyone is wearing this right now i don't know where they're getting this from but on the moods website this is only 26 dollars, so that's a really great price and i got a size medium and it's in the color purple they have other colors to choose from. So this one you actually tie it in the front and it's open so you obviously have to wear something underneath this. I mean I hope you're wearing something underneath this. I am. I'm excited to style this. This cropped cardigan is really cute but I don't know if I can wear this without it looking stupid. Also this top is from Yes Style. I thought it would look cute paired with this so we're gonna tie it up and I'll show you what it looks like. I can't tell if I like this because again every single person that I see wearing this does not have my body type. It is cute and I'm probably gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. I really like the color and everything about it and it looks like we are down to the final thing out of this haul which is a denim jacket so oh my gosh i love this i don't know if i'm going crazy but i feel like there's like a blue tint to it almost turns out the most expensive thing is going to be this dress in this haul which kind of shocks me i got a size medium and i'm really excited about this because i love wearing denim jackets like there was a point in my life where i lived in my denim jacket to this day it's still my favorite it's from urban outfitters and it was 60 dollars. i wore it everywhere like even in israel i went to israel in 2016 and it was probably 100 degrees and i was still wearing my jean jacket but honestly in pictures it does not look good so i'm really excited to have a cropped denim jacket finally the fabric is definitely that true denim material not too heavy but heavy enough where I just know that this is probably worth more than $36 like at other stores or other places online. And last but not least, we have the jean jacket. It's cute, definitely what I expected when I picked it out, but this does run a little bit small, so I would have sized up. So that is the end to the mood haul. I hope that you guys found this helpful, and if you stuck all the way through, Thank you because I know that was probably a long video. I try to keep it very real and honest with you guys. So I hope that this was helpful for you because I did not know what the moods was before this. And now that everyone knows what this is, I think I can 100% say to support this brand because they have amazing clothes. Everything is just so trendy and aesthetic. I love it. Oh yeah, I almost forgot they are giving me a discount code for you to use. So if you want 10% off your order, you can use my code Courtney10 for 10% off your order. I don't know why I just repeated that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, that would mean the world to me and give this video a thumbs up comment down below and I will see you in my next video